I'm not finished here, but it's, I'm only going to take it down to this sort of wash area and then that's it for this. I was born in 1923 and I'm 81 years old. I'm in bed and I'm asleep for all intents and purposes, but hey, I'm dreaming, I'm out here and I'm raking this stuff together and I'm working away, you know, and in my dream. I wake up in the morning, I couldn't wait to get up and get out and get busy doing things. I'm well, I have 15 acres. When I first came out and moved here, there were no trees on the property. It's just been a lot of joy to me. I, I really enjoy it, you know? And you should be doing something you enjoy. I suppose one of the most strenuous things I do is to load up the truck with all the debris that I collect around here because I have to lift it up into the truck. It's a lot easier to get it out of the truck than it is for me to put it up, but I'm still doing that, you know. I was told the insurance company didn't want you to live more than six miles from the fire station. So I'm thinking if I put a road that's going towards the fire station, I'll be within six miles. And that's what got me interested in putting that road in. It was just done in little stretches, three or four hours here at a time, and morning after morning, and they just added up. and till it became a nice, wide, and pretty lengthy little road. And it's available to anybody who wants to use it. There are lots of people that mess with the cabins out here. What they do, they're very destructive. They come out and they break out the windows and trash everything that they can get their hands on. A lot of the cabins wouldn't be bad at all if it hadn't been for these people that like to destroy things so much. It's not I'm anxious to fix them up, but I hate to see all the debris all over the place. I mean, there are people that live out here and they have to pass by all this junk all the time and so forth. It's gonna stay there till somebody picks it up, so I pick it up and put it with my stuff to go to the dump, you know. It's very nice to have it looking a little less like a national disaster. <laughs> yeah, I get tired like anybody else does, and then I have to maybe take it a little bit easier. I usually end up having a, a good afternoon nap. By the time I come in after doing this and have a bite to eat, I don't stay awake very long. <laughs> Well, there was a point, I, ha I had a problem, uh, I had cancer. I thought about that and I thought, well, they're going to have to put me to sleep for some of these procedures and hey, what do you, and I thought, what am I worried about? After all, it might not be good, it might be tough, but you only have to die once. So what are you worrying about? Either you will or you won't. That, that made all the difference in the world, how I felt about it. And well, I have to go down to Palm Springs area to have these procedures and that, okay, you go like you're going on a trip. You get in the car and you enjoy the whole trip down, just like you're going on a vacation. You go down there and have the procedure and you'll either come back or you won't come back. You really only have now. What is past is past. 
and what is coming up hasn't come up yet, and it may or may not. So don't waste your time looking for you know, some super event that's coming up and waiting for that to enjoy your life. You've got now, and if you're going to have a happy life, you enjoy all your nows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>